for the area of a rectangle. I can find the area of a rectangle. Give me a big thumbs up if we have ever seen area before. Okay, so the other day we looked at perimeter and perimeter was adding up all of the sides. Area is not adding up all of the sides. Area is finding what fits inside of it. It says use color tiles to create a rectangle with an area of 12 square units. Compare your rectangle with your partners. We do not have those square tiles, so I'm going to draw. What could I do if I wanted 12 square units? Um, you could draw like a big like, rectangle and then like, like make little squares. How long would each side be? Uh, what do you think? Six blocks. You think one of them, one side would be six blocks long? How, um, so like if I came down six, there would be two sides. There would be two? Let's see if you're right. So two across. And six down. So two times six is what? Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. yes. What's another way that we could do it? Um, six, six times, times two. two. Yes. Um, three, three times four. Yeah, let's try it. 1234234. What is 3 times 4? 12. So 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. If we wanted to go backwards with that, we could also do 4 times 3, 6 times 2. What's the other one? 12 times 1. Yeah, we can make a really long one. Is this correct? Yes. So those are lots of different ways we can show the area of the rectangle. And notice the area is what's inside. We're not, we're not counting the outside of it, right? The outside is called the perimeter. Yes, good job, guys. Um, let's turn the page and see what's next. Okay, starting off at the top of the page, our Think and Grow says use the formula for area. The area of the rectangle is area equals length times width. Okay, length is here, width is here. So our length on this rectangle is? 14. Our width is? 19. Okay, so the length is 14. Width is 19. Area equals length times width. Length times width. And then we have to multiply it out. We know that 19 times 14, we can do that by multiplying it the old way. We can do 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. We're going to have our placeholder. 1 times 19 is 19. So 14 times 19 is 266. The area is 266 square inches. Yeah, so that's a great way to do it. So um, we had a great question of how we multiplied. So I multiplied what I call the old way. But then there's also multiplication where we did the distributive property and we broke it up. So this would be like 10 and 4 
10 and 9. 4 times 9 is 36. 10 times 9 is 90. 10 times 4 is 40. 10 times 10 is 100. And then adding all of those together, 100, 90, 40, and 36. When we add those together, we get the same exact thing. You can do it either way. That's fine. We'll zoom in a little bit and look at one through four. So finding the area of the rectangle on number one, we're doing, so what I want you to write there is area equals length times width. And we know that the length is four, the area is six. I'm sorry, the length is four, the width is six. So area equals four times six. Four times six is 24, so area equals 24 meters squared. Okay, number two says 12 yards on this side, 20 here. So you're going to put area, so A equals L times W because area equals length times width. Area equals, length is what? Times width. 20. Width is what? 12. 12. So area equals, what is 20 times 12? 240. 240. And we're going to put yards squared. <clears throat> Number three. You're going to put A equals L times W because area equals length times width. Area equals 11 times 7. Area equals 77 centimeters squared. Number four, how do I write my formula? A equals L times W, A equals five times one and a half, and A equals five and a half. Okay, so five times one and a half, I'm going to work that out over here, okay? Well, 5 times 1 is 5, and half of 5 is 2 and a half, and 5 plus 2 and a half is 7 and a half. So area equals 7 and a half feet squared. Then I'm going to pause the video for a minute and give you guys a chance to work on 5 through 8, and then we're going to go over them together. Let's look at number five. It says find the area of the rectangle. The first thing you should have done is written A equals L times W because area equals length times width. Then you're going to write A equals 35 times 32. We're going to multiply that out. Um, we're going to do it where we line up our numbers. Two times five, if you're not sure how to line these numbers up, I want you to pay very close attention. Then you can go back and do it later. Two times five is 10. Put your zero, carry your one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. 
Now we're moving on to the three, and the three is in the tens place, because so I have to put a zero to hold my place value. Three times five is 15. Three times three is nine, plus one is 10. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus five is 12. Carry that one. My answer is gonna be area equals 1,120 millimeters squared. Number six. First thing I write is what? A, A equals L times W. A equals L times W. A equals four and two eighths times nine. A equals. Okay, I know that nine times four is 36. Nine times two eighths is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna do nine over one times two eighths equals 18 over eight. And that will give me two and one fourth. So 38 and one fourth. What do I put on my first line? A equals L times W. A equals eight times five and one half. A equals, I know that eight times five is 40. Half of eight is four, so my answer is 44. 44 feet squared. Let's take a look at number eight. A equals length times width, so L times W. A equals 79 times 37. A equals, A is the area. I'm gonna do 79 times 37. Seven times nine is 63. Seven times seven is 49. We have to add that six, so that is 55. We're gonna move over to the three and put a zero because we have to hold that place value. Three times nine is 27. Three times seven is 21, plus two is 23. Add those together and you get 2,923 centimeters squared. We're gonna go down just a little bit. Number nine says you are installing wall-to-wall -wall carpet in a rectangular bedroom. That is ten feet long by nine feet wide. So I know that A equals L times W. A equals nine times 10. A equals what? Yep, 90. And we are talking about feet. 
So 90 feet squared. Good job today, guys.